Hello, my name is Michael Caduce. Today we will be discussing the oxygen administration skill. With any skill, I will take a moment to apply my body substance isolation, which for this skill includes gloves. First, I will check my equipment. I am sure that I have an oxygen cylinder, regulator, O-ring, tank wrench, non-rebreather mask, and nasal cannula. Next, I will ensure there is no debris in the oxygen cylinder valve by cracking the tank very briefly. Before I do this, I need to make sure the valve is not facing me, my patient, or any bystanders. Next, I will assemble the tank and regulator. I will place the regulator on the tank, ensuring the presence of an O-ring and alignment of the pins. I will turn the wrench one full turn counterclockwise to open the oxygen valve. I will then state the pressure by reading the pressure gauge on the regulator. I will then listen and feel for any leaks around the regulator. Now that I have assembled the oxygen tank and regulator, ensured adequate pressure, and checked for leaks, I can apply the oxygen delivery device. To do this, I will check my non-rebreather packaging for any tears, punctures, or missing pieces. I will then attach the oxygen tubing to the port on the regulator. I will then set the regulator to deliver between 10 and 15 liters per minute. After that, I will place my finger over the one-way valve on the reservoir bag to allow it to fill. After the reservoir bag is fully inflated, I will place the mask on the patient's face and tighten the straps around the patient's head. If the patient does not tolerate the mask, I may be able to switch to a nasal cannula. After removing the non-rebreather and turning off the flow of oxygen, I detach the oxygen tubing and connect the nasal cannula. I will adjust the regulator to flow one to six liters per minute of oxygen and place the nasal cannula on the patient's face. To do so, I will place the prongs in the patient's nose. I will then secure the tubing around the patient's ears and cinch the tubing under the chin. It is important to monitor the patient during the oxygen administration skill as the amount of oxygen may need to be adjusted.